I want to see the world for myself, to make my own choices. Barbie might have had numerous animated films thus far, but never a live-action depiction of the pink car and the stylish outfits. Although the idea of turning the Mattel staple into a live-action had been discussed for over a decade, it took Greta Gerwig to sign her name onto the project and make it fly off the page. With none other than Margot Robbie playing the beloved doll, Barbie might be one of the most anticipated productions to come out in 2023, and we have got you covered on all the details that we know so far about this upcoming release. On October 22nd of last year, the announcement was made that Ryan Gosling was in final negotiations for the role of Barbie's romantic interest, Ken. Although the actor initially rejected the project due to a packed filming schedule, the aftermath from the pandemic led him to have an open spot on his agenda to play the male doll on screen. In July 2022, Warner Bros. revealed Gosling's first picture with bleached blonde hair, tan skin, and the traditional jean jacket. The shot lead to instant commotion on the web and even more excitement over the upcoming Jerwick film. In his press run for his leading man work in, Gosling talked about his pride and excitement with playing the iconic role of Ken. I felt like I was seeing myself. I felt seen. I think a lot of Kens will feel seen when they see this. Gotta do it for the Kens. Nobody plays with the Kens. Though when the actor was asked about any details regarding his interpretation of Ken, Gosling stayed fairly mum. That Ken life is even harder than the gray man life, I think. Ken's got no money. He's got no job. He's got no car. He's got no house. He's going through some stuff. I can't wait for people to see the film. That's all I can say. Otherwise, Mattel will come in and box me up. Uh, well, Ken has no house, uh, you know, no home and right. no job. And like, <laughs> is this a drama? Is this a sad? Those are not plot details. Those are, yeah. those are just objective facts about Ken. According to journalist Kyle Buchanan in a series of tweets posted in May, Robbie and Gosling aren't the only Barbie and Ken depictions portrayed in the live action film. The journalist went on to say that would play alternate versions of the Barbie doll, while Simu Liu, and would play different versions of Ken. Even though none of the actors above confirmed their involvement in the project, Liu did say in the same interview with Independent that one of the most painful instances he had to face on set was getting his body waxed for Barbie. Unfortunately, the trailer hasn't come out yet, but there have been plenty of behind-the-scenes pictures have been circulating the internet and drawing a lot of buzz. However, pay attention to this channel as it will be updated once a teaser or official trailer comes out. While the film's July release date is still far away, the size of the project may push Warner Bros. to release a trailer before the end of the year. You might think that the obvious answer to this question is yes, but in reality, the iconic Aqua Anthem won't be featured in Barbie. Lean Nistrom's manager, Ulrich Mahler Jorgensen, told Variety that song won't be a part of the soundtrack. At the time the Danish hit came out, the Mattel brand was concerned about the song's messaging and made two lawsuits against the group for mentioning their product for commercial gain. Yet, both lawsuits were disregarded by the United States District Court in California. The PG-13 comedy film's plot can be summarized as a journey of self-discovery. Barbie is kicked out of Barbieland for being unconventional and breaking the rules of what a doll is supposed to look, act like. She goes on a quest to the real world, where she realizes that the concepts of perfection and happiness are not in line with what she previously thought and has to save Barbieland before it's too late. Barbie's never-ending star list cast is already making it one of the most anticipated films of the upcoming year. Two-time Oscar nominee Margot Robbie stars as the blonde fashion doll alongside Golden Globe winner Ryan Gosling, who will play her longtime boyfriend, Ken. This classic couple needs no introduction, but it will be interesting to see who else appears from the nostalgic line of dolls. In April, comedian Will Ferrell also announced he was joining Jerwig's film as the CEO of a toy company, a nod to Mattel, which manufactures Barbie dolls in real life. Saoirse Ronan, Robbie's Mary Queen of Scots co-star and Jerwig's frequent collaborator, was slated to make a cameo in the film but scheduling conflicts hampered that possibility. I was supposed to do a cameo because I live in London and they were there, Ronan told people. There was a whole character I was going to play, another Barbie. I was gutted I couldn't do it. However, Ronan did that she has been in contact with Jerwig about slipping into a reshoot scene. Recently announced cast members include sex education stars and Cutie Gatwa, Connor Swindells, and Emma Mackey, who bears an uncanny resemblance to Robbie. The star-studded cast doesn't end there, as several other high-profile actors have signed on to the project. 
including Issa Rae, Michael Cera, Kingsley Ben Adier, Ree Perlman, Ritu Arya, Sharon Rooney, Scott Evans, Anna Cruz Kane, and Jamie Demetriou. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed our video. We will see you again. Bye.